Oh, well, hi guys, it's an Amka4 here with the Google Nexus 7 first generation 2012 model along the left hand side and a second generation 2030 model along the right hand side. Both the devices are 16 gigabyte Wi Fi models only. We're going to see what's the difference between both these Nexus 7 brothers. Beginning with the displays, first of all, both these devices have a 7 inch LED backlit IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen which sits underneath Corner's Gorilla Glass. The first gen device along the left hand side here has a resolution of 1280 by 800 which brings up a pixel density of 216 pixels per inch, whereas the second gen device along the right hand side here has a resolution of 1920 by 1200 and a pixel density of 323 pixels per inch. Side by side hopefully you would have noticed that the second gen device is ever so slightly narrower at 114 millimeters width in comparison to the first gen's 120 millimeters. The second gen device is also slightly longer at 200 millimeters length in comparison to the first gen's 198.5 millimeters. The second gen is also thinner at 8.7 millimeters thick in comparison to the first gen's 10.5 millimeters thickness. Both generations incorporate a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera the only real difference is a location whereas on the first gen it's top center on the second gen it's more top right along the back here the first gen device does not have a rear facing camera whereas the second gen device has a 5 megapixel shooter supporting a resolution of up to 2592 by 1944 and capable of shooting full HD at 1080p at 30 frames per second the Nexus branding has been moved from a horizontal to more of a vertical styling still with the Asus logo in the bottom of both generations under which you have a set of speakers and the main difference being on the first gen device those sets of speakers are only along the bottom of the handset whereas on the second gen device you've got a second set of stereo speakers along the top of the unit there enhancing the audio performance. The material used on the back cover is no longer this very grippy leatherette type of material used on this first gen handset it's now this matte black finish still very grippy just gives it an added sense of style in my opinion. I'll show you around the first generation 2012 model first of all as you look at the device along the right hand side you've got the power volume up and down buttons here along the bottom you've got the 3.5 millimeter audio jack in the middle you've got the micro USB charging and data transfer port along the left hand side you've got four contacts to be used with the docking station you've got a microphone there along the top you've got another secondary microphone as you can see there so we'll leave that to one side there now with the second generation 2013 model notice a button placement for the power and volume up and down buttons hasn't changed it's still along the right hand side but just underneath you can see the microphone has moved from the first generation's left hand side to the second generation's now right hand side just underneath the volume buttons there along the bottom you can see there's no 3.5 millimeter audio jack that has now moved to the top of the device and in the middle you still have the micro usb data transfer and charging port along the left hand side it's completely clean with no holes for secondary microphones or any buttons whatsoever along the top of the unit you can see there's no further buttons just that hole for the 3.5 millimeter audio jack which as i said has moved from the bottom of the first generation device to now on the top of this second generation 2013 model. Comparing some of the internal specs now, the first generation CPU is the NVIDIA Tegra 3 1.2 GHz quad core with a GeForce GPU, whereas the second gen device incorporates a Qualcomm quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro clocked at 1.5 GHz and incorporates an Adreno 320 GPU and benefits from 2 GB of RAM, whereas the first gen only has 1 GB. Both devices support Wi-Fi standards, so that's 802.11a BGNN. However, the second gen device is a dual band device so it incorporates 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz radios, whereas the first end device only incorporates a 2.4 GHz radio. Bluetooth is also incorporated into both devices, whereas the first gen supports version 3, the second gen supports version 4. Near field communication, aka NFC, was initially left out of the first generation device but has been included on the second gen 2013 model. And finally, the operating system, the second gen device ships with Android Jelly Bean 4.3, which is available on the first gen device via an update. And that's been a look at some of the similarities and differences between the Google Nexus 7 first generation. 2012 model and a second generation 2013 model. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. Doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.